Hi, this is Kevin Croke, head coach with UCD Rugby Club. In this series of interviews in conjunction with club sponsor Crow, we talk to past and present players who share their memories of the club and how it has impacted their career both on and off the field. In this video, we meet with Ian McKinley and talk to him about his experiences in UCD and his time playing for Leinster and Italy. Well, we have a couple of questions we'd like to ask you today, myself and Kev. Um, and we might kick off with the first one. Can you tell us what it was like when you were coming from, from St. Columbus into the UCD fold and how you found the transition in terms of meeting guys from different schools and, and all of that and, and who and some of your contemporaries might have been? Yeah, so St. Columbus is not exactly a, a rugby school. So to find myself, you know, uh, fortunate enough to, to get onto a UCD scholarship and play with guys that I had played through uh, probably towards the latter stage of my school career was was fantastic you know that um, definitely propelled me uh, in, in helping me play for Leinster uh, you know playing with guys like John Cooney and even Shane Grinnell who didn't go on to to well he played you know with the senior team in, in UCD but he was like a fantastic player so to play with guys guys like that really could only have made your game better so you know the facilities there were fantastic and as I said, it was pretty handy for me doing, you know, being able to do my Leinster training, walk across the field, and then, you know, there, there was UCD. So it was, a, it was a pretty complete package. When you, when you came in out of school, um, you're obviously bringing a lot of guys together who haven't played together before. Was there any one moment uh, that stands out for you when you're, you, you noticed that the team was starting to come together? If you're to talk about a game where we came together, remember we played like a Friday night game against Belvo um, and we absolutely obliterated them. And just for some reason that that sort of seemed to be like the coming together of the team. Like we were a pretty talented group of players, but um, we were always, <laughs> it was a good rival. We were at Lansdowne, so it was us and Lansdowne. But I just remember that game in particular of, of uh, everyone pulling together and yeah, just just playing for for the badge um, and that sort of propelled onto onto the UCD first team so Crokey I remember playing with you um, you know Kev McLaughlin uh, Ferg was obviously there Vaz Artmeniev um, but I suppose my the, the first real memory I, I remember um, they said not many 20s guys got got on in the first year myself and John Cooney were lucky enough to, to do that but I just remember Mick Hastings sort of put his arm around me and tried to explain different patterns and stuff like that, which was basically the same as the 20s. So it sort of put me at ease. So, you know, to have someone like that who had been around at the club for so many years to, you know, in some ways have this little pup uh, coming up and trying to take someone's spot, you know, and, and he also played a bit out of half as well, you know, for him to put his arm around me and say, look, this is what we're trying to do. Made you feel very relaxed, made you feel very welcome and sort of thinking outside of, of you know, non-selfish reasons but thinking you know um, try and get this guy um, integrated and feel as 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 uh, at home as possible so that was always something I'll, uh, I'll always remember. Ian you came into UCD from Columbus which isn't a, a traditional powerhouse in the schools game it was a bit of a transition from school to club uh, and you're in a pretty strong under 20 side how did you find that transition between school and club helped you to make the transition from club to professional rugby? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I went from a situation where, you know, we were playing in sort of, I mean, schools rugby was divided up whenever I was playing into sort of four tiers and we were playing in the third division. Uh, so to go from that to all of a sudden training um, against a Leinster backline that had Contaponi, O'Driscoll, Darcy, uh, Luke Fitzgerald, Rob Carney, Eason, Athey, where you're sort of going, well, you know, that's a, that's a massive jump. So to be able to have played with Vaz or to many of to be able to have played with Ferg McFadden, you know, that, you know, it, it was vital for development and, you know, it was as professional as, as you could have gotten um, without almost, if I dare say, sort of over the top, which I think is, is really important. You know, you're there to develop. Um, and it was one of the reasons, you know, I was really happy to, to stay in the, the school that I was in because I didn't, you know, I wanted to become a professional rugby player. Don't get me wrong, but I just, thought at a you know at a young age for it to be completely thrown at you you from an early age I think you could have potentially burned out so UCD definitely you know had a great balance in terms of having fun but else also trying to be serious and trying to uh, to be the best that you can be so no yeah, that absolutely helped. Ian you're in a, a rare group of professional fellas who haven't played in a, in a colours match at senior level uh, maybe you could give us 
couple of your memories from playing against Trinity at under 20 level? No, well, in terms of the colours match, um, my dad actually played for Trinity. So for me to play uh, for the blue at UCD, obviously, yeah, I can see the look there. <laughs> a bit of family rivalry, but um, no, of course, um, you know, I'm a match uh, steeped in tradition and history. And to play a small part in, in, in that game, and I remember we, we, we won that game 13 6, if my memory serves me well. It was a wet day. So, um, you know, I remember. I remember that well, and I had the bragging rights at home anyway. So uh, turning to a, a more difficult topic, uh, you suffered a pretty horrific injury in 2010, um, which initially looked like it was going to cut short your career in a significant way. That time you moved to Italy and you developed your coaching career, can you maybe tell us a little bit about how you found the journey from, from being a player to being a coach in a, in a foreign country? In terms of the injury, uh, there was a couple of things that UCD, you know, helped out tremendously. So whenever, unfortunately, I had that incident in 2010, the UCD medical staff, and I know I've gone on record countless times saying, but they were fantastic. The, the doctor there and the medical team, like they were outstanding in getting me the best care that I, that I could have. So I'll be, you know, forever grateful for that. Also, whenever I yeah, had, had initially retired, um, you know, UCD were really open into help, you know, helping me develop my, my, the coaching side of things. So I, apart from playing, you know, have a big passion in, in coaching. So, um, you know, coaches would have said, you know, if you want to come and take an under 20s warm up or help out or whatever, and just try and learn, you know, really open. And that, that's the sort of great thing about rugby in particular, obviously UCD just having an open door policy, you know, th there's someone, you know, unfortunately me just maybe falling by the wayside a little bit and not, not, developing due to an injury but you know that didn't really matter to them and they were happy just to to keep me on board and so things like that definitely helped me uh, in moving over to Italy and transitioning it you know into into coaching that rugby is a is a fantastic sport for uh, having diversity having a huge amount of people from different backgrounds and no matter what sort of happened to you you're you're always learning about the game and you know there was you know, a young young guy and me trying to trying to learn uh, my trade as a as a coach and UCD just opened the door and said, you know, if you want to come for whatever trainings, you're more than welcome. So again, like whenever I was playing, uh, that made me feel very welcome. And in terms of uh, some of the players you mentioned earlier, Johnny Cooney and so forth, I guess you would have established some pretty long term relationships and friendships arising from your your time in college. Yeah, it's it's certainly been a, a different path for for me personally. Just uh, moving away, age twenty two, moving to Italy for nearly ten years, and <laughs> ending up uh, playing against the guys that you 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 know were growing up playing against <laughs> and with, to then suddenly playing against them at international or pro fourteen level was certainly um, was certainly different. So, no, I mean special mo. If I'm to think of maybe one special moment, no, definitely when. Um, Italy we played in Chicago against Ireland in 2019 and John um, just came into the changing room afterwards and we exchanged exchanged jerseys and everything like that so you know memories like that definitely are it's sort of funny to think you know 10 years previously even maybe a little bit more you were talking out for UCD under under 20s then UCD first uh, game I think our first game together was against Balamina uh, in 2009 to then all of a sudden fast forward 10 years later and you're playing for different countries and um, but you know the the respect is still is still always there and the camaraderie is still always there